Today I'm gonna be recreating my money nails. So I did these nails back in 2018 and they went way viral than what I was ever expecting. <laughs> but yes, I had some money, I cut up some pieces and we did glitter. And I believe at this time I was using clear acrylic. So that's what I encapsulate everything in. And I love these nails, y'all. These turned out so well. This was like, you know, early on in my nail journey. So I loved how these turned out. Like, <laughs> so I got my money. I am not going to confirm or deny if I used real money in my money nails. I did two sets of money nails. It was a acrylic set and then a poly gel set. And I'm not gonna say if I use real money or not, but today we're gonna be using this prop money that I got from Amazon. If you look really closely, like it looks real, don't it? Like I'm about to go shopping. <laughs> But it does say for motion picture purposes. And then, you know, it says motion picture. And then this one is teaching children money. <laughs> so yeah, this is the money I'm gonna be using. And I've already tested it. I put like alcohol on it just to make sure it doesn't bleed. And I think we'll be all right. So you put my stacks away. <laughs> so I already started cutting up some of the pieces. These are from the $1 bill. I don't know, I was trying to see you know, it looks good on camera, but in real life, like the quality of the printing is pretty bad. <laughs> and the colors are kind of off. So the one that is like the closest to looking real is the dollar bill. And in the original set, I used a dollar bill as well. So, and honestly, I like the style of the dollar bill. Cause you know, it's like, it's like that old European-esque type of, you know, style, whereas the modern bills, these look a little, you know, they're too modern. There's not enough design, I feel, especially cause they're fake. So it's like the 100 isn't like gold. <laughs> it looks like a bronze ink or something. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with my dollar bill. So yeah, I was trying to see, I have this idea in my head that I wanna do. I'm thinking of like, of course it's gonna be some gold accents, but I'm thinking about like drippy gold. I think that'll look really cute. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we are gonna get there. Uh, I think I can probably use like the one here. You see what I'm saying? Like the other fake bills, they just, they don't look real enough. And I know you can't make them look real, you know, because that's like <laughs> counterfeiting, but you know, for art purposes, I would like for them to at least look like <laughs> the currency. So I'm just gonna cut this out. And I like to get really, really tight. That was like one of the things that I wanted to stand out with my money nails back in 2018 was that a lot of people were just kind of cutting out, you know, basic shapes like a square of the money or something. And I wanted to get like really close around the edges and like have these little, you know, swirly type filigree designs and really like cut it out. So a good pair of sharp scissors does that very well. So something like that. But yeah, I want very detailed, um, you know, pictures, cut, cut outs of the dollar bill. All right, money pieces are cut up. And I'm gonna use some nail tips for this one. I'm gonna use my Young Nails glue to glue them on. All right, so y'all already know I have my peel off base coat on. I use the Jello Jello and it works really good for me. So if you guys are interested in where to get it, I'll put the link down below along with my coupon code. All right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of glue and just place that on there like so. All right, tips are all on, and I'm just gonna take my e-file and sanding band to take the shine away from the nail tips. Just so the glue pieces and stuff can have something to hold on to. All right, got them all filed, and I'm just gonna use some alcohol to wipe the dust away. And we're all prepped. All right, I haven't decided how I'm gonna put the pieces on. Hmm, let's see. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just put the glue down like that and place it on the nail. Mm, this is where some plastic <laughs> will come in. So let's see if I can just kind of hold it down. Okay, that does something. Uh, yeah, let me go get some plastic. Well, okay, I have to finish this one before the glue dries. So for now, I'm just going to use the uh, paper for the nail forms and just hold this in place until the glue dries. Okay, seems to be working. Oh, perfect. Okay, so, oh, that, that worked really well. I'm just gonna use that then. <laughs> okay, so next, I think I wanna do probably something like this. Oh yeah. You see what I'm saying about the $1 bill? How like, <laughs> the patterns are just so pretty. They kinda just work for themselves. The other ones are just a little too modern for my liking. So we're going to put that like so and then take our wrapping paper, I mean nail form paper, and just put it over it so it can have a curvature to the nail. You can't be impatient. You got to hold it. <laughs> and for the ring finger, I'm going to do the same thing. Just put a little glue and place you right here. You know what? I'm gonna put some glue on the back of the paper as well because it, it kind of hits places where I didn't put glue. So this will make it a bit easier. All right, and just kind of find a spot that I like for this. Yeah, if you have like a C-curve tip, then it is imperative that you have some type of plastic or paper that's going to keep it in place for you. So you can <laughs> so you can have it to the curvature. Just want to make sure. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to I get to kind of see what's going on and then just fold it over. Make sure it's nice and smooth. It does kind of slide a bit. So this is kind of, <laughs> it's going to slide more than I would like, but that's all right. Place that down. All right, like so. So for the middle finger, I'm gonna do a little bit of stacking and cut this piece out here that I want like that. I'm gonna start just putting, putting the glue on the back of the paper, hopefully. Ugh. It's hot, kinda hard to do this with one hand. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pick that up and and put it on the nail. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can make sure the placement is exactly where I want it. Okay, and then just gonna squish it down and hold it in place. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it was too much glue. Okay, let me try to get this up. Oh, I like this piece. I'm gonna have to cut another. So that piece was this little swirly do here. So, 
we're just gonna carefully follow the pattern as I cut. I'm proud of my cutting skills. <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I was like, I know how to cut really well. Weird thing is I'm left-handed, but I can, I can cut really well with my right hand. Partly because when I was growing up, there wasn't my left hand <laughs> scissors. By the time they came into the classroom, like I've already learned how to use my right hand to cut. So that is where the skills come from. <laughs> All right, so this little piece here is what I liked. I did have to cut it to make it fit, so I have to redo all of that. All right, take two. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place this exactly where I had it, like so. And I just wanna make sure it's nice and centered. And while it's in place, I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue on the sides here to make sure those stay down. Okay, so I like that. And this time I went to the kitchen to get some saran wrap. So we're gonna place it like that and then pull it taut. Okay, plastic wrap is better. At least I can see what is actually happening. Uh, so just hold this for like five seconds. All right, there we go. Couldn't decide what else. Hmm. <laughs> Troy says, well, I know I definitely want to put a one. I think that's probably all it needs. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to put something like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so as before, just kind of put this where I want it to be. And place it right there. Okay. I was also afraid that the fake money paper was gonna be like paper thin. <laughs> it was gonna be like super thin and not able to take the glue on. But the paper is actually kind of thick. Like it's thick like money paper. <laughs> So, you know. Okay, and then it's imperative that this is centered, so. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can't see well. Okay. <laughs> I gotta make sure it's straight. And it's still not, really. Okay. Woo, all right. <laughs> This one, because of the design and it being like the one from the $1 bill, it has to be centered. That is why I'm so particular about getting it centered. So I think we got it. I hope. I mean, it's good enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna hold this down. All right. So that is how that's looking. And for the index finger, I'm going to kind of do something like that. And then I have this piece that I want to put like that. So let's hold this down. Don't pull it too tight, but you do want it taut. And then I just kind of use my finger to make sure everything is nice and glued down. Okay. Mm, mm, that's sticking up a little bit. That is when you kind of go back in with a tiny bit of glue in the plastic. I think this time around with the money nails, I'm going for like details and refinement. That is pretty much what I'm working on as far as my nail design. So it's gonna be the same, but it's gonna be technically better. <laughs> All right, we got that down. And then I wanted to grab this one and like put it over here like that. Yeah, cause the last time, let me show y'all. <laughs> let me get my money back out. <laughs> All right, so this is the teaching money. And 
it doesn't say in God we trust because if y'all remember on my other set on the index fingernail I had in God we trust going down but this says in props we trust so that's not really gonna bring home the money nails aesthetic so we are probably I, I did have this one that I could do but I think that'll probably just cover up <laughs> most of what I'm trying to do here or I'm just thinking about it as like a square. I can probably just get really close to the one text and just cut that out. Let me work on this and then we'll see if I use this piece or not. <laughs> All right, so I did some extra cutting and I really like that one. So we're gonna do that. The beauty about this glue is that it allows you to layer on top of anything. All right, and we're gonna place you. Like that. I just wanna make sure it is nice and centered. And press it down in the glue. And then, once again, taking that plastic wrap. And pulling it taut. All right, me like. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put this little one right here. So just, and I wanna kinda line it up with the curve of the first piece. <laughs> I'm over here redesigning the dollar, okay? <laughs> All right, and then hold that in place. Oh, perfect. All right, so for the thumb, I cut out the little eagle. I cut it into a heart. I think that is so cute. <laughs> so I couldn't decide if I wanted to like have the heart and then maybe the $1. Mm, no, I think the heart needs a moment. And I cut this heart myself, okay? One time for the cutting skills. <laughs> All right, so it does kind of help to like, kind of mold the paper a little bit, make a, make a curve in it, just so it kind of knows where to fall. Yeah, okay, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> you know, I gotta play, play around with it to make sure that's really what I want. Put the glue about where I need it, and, uh-oh and place it about where I want that to be. All right, and then let's just put a little bit of glue on the little tops of the heart. Once again, symmetry is important. And we hold that in place. Like so. Mm, okay, no, <laughs> not like so. <laughs> we gotta hold this down just a little bit longer. All right, got all of the pieces glued down. I'm gonna use the clear patty gel to encapsulate everything. First, I'm going to take my brush and just wipe everything, <laughs> get it moistened. <laughs> um, Just, you know, I'm trying to minimize the air bubbles, so I'm hoping that'll help. All right, so next we're just gonna go ahead and apply. And I just use 91% isopropyl alcohol and just make sure everything is covered. I like to work on this cuticle first before I move on 
Another tip I, I like to share is before you encapsulate with clear, make sure your alcohol is clean. If your alcohol is dirty and you're using that to pat and stuff, it's going to show in the clear. So just make sure it's clean. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue patting this in place and making sure it is nice and even. The nail structure is there and everything is covered up. All right, so this is after curing. <laughs> and as y'all can see, she clear. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna continue doing this for all of the nails. And I know you're probably thinking, well, you didn't put any of the gold glitter or anything on the nail. I have an idea that I'm gonna do. It's gonna be inspired by my old money nails, but it's not gonna be like the exact same, you know? Yeah, I wanna use like some chrome powder I think that has set it off really nice. So that's why I'm not gonna use any of the um, the gold um, foil because chrome is gonna take its place. So yeah, I was giving y'all a tip about your alcohol to make sure that is clean, but also make sure you're working with a clean brush as well. That is gonna keep your clear really, really clear. Okay, so we're just gonna keep working this in place. Oh, but I'm loving how this is looking already. All right, nails are all encapsulated. Ooh. <laughs> now we gotta wipe these off with alcohol. They sticky, they need to be filed. And you gotta wipe this tacky layer off before you get to filing and shaping. There we are. And oh, these are patty gel nails. So you don't have to file too much. You can easily over file. So just keep that in mind. Nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm gonna go in with this matte top coat. Like I said, I wanna do chrome, so we have to make it to where the chrome doesn't stick to the whole nail. So that is why I'm going in with a matte. But as always, we get a sneak peek of what it looks like. Clear. <laughs> I mean, we already saw it, but you know. Ooh. All right, this is what they look like matte. So now I'm gonna go in with this clear builder gel and we're just gonna make our little accent border. Start it like right here. And it's okay if it's not perfect. That's actually what I'm going for. Ooh. All right. <laughs> you know, I want it to be like a thick kind of, not necessarily a border, but just like some gold accent. Oh, that's probably hard to see. Let's see, okay. Give y'all a little bit of contrast. Something like that. I'm just checking to make sure everything gets filled in. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Next, taking this gold chrome, I'm just gonna use this and brush it on. And that's just sticking right to the tacky layer of the gel. All right, and that's what it looks like after brushing off the excess. I'm still gonna try to clean it up even more. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna move along to the next nail. So grabbing some more gel and we're just gonna start up here. I don't want it to be like a straight line either. We're just making it wavy and organic. And it doesn't have to be like a border every time either. I want it to be like the gold is dripping. And then we just go ahead and put the chrome on with the gold. 
Ooh. All right, we got all of the gold laid. All right, so finally, I'm gonna go in with this glossy top coat. And you wanna make sure to wipe your brush off before dipping it back into the bottle because we don't wanna get this gold powder inside of our top coat. But I'm just gonna seal everything in. Oh, that is nice. And this one. All right, here is the finished look. Thank you or whatever. I think I like my 2018 ones better, probably because I used different kind of money. <laughs> but you know, this one isn't bad, but it doesn't, it's not really given, you know, dollar dollar bill. <laughs> But what y'all think? I'm actually loving how clear this is. I think because, you know, after all, this is just paper. So once you encapsulate it, it looks like paper. <laughs> but I ain't gonna be too hard on it. It's still cute. I think it looks better when I hold me a little stack of money. <laughs> oh, honey, it's that time. What you got the camera? Yeah, I gotta find a new spot for it since we move stuff around. Oh, well, forget that, come here. <laughs> All right, you went back. You know, a little change. Money. Okay. What are you with the gold? What is this? It's chrome powder. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can barely tell. I was trying to make it drippy. I don't know. These aren't really my favorite because, you know, I used a different kind of money back then. <laughs> <laughs> This looks I mean, like it looks, paper. It looks good though. Like for it to be fake dollars, this is this is about the closest you can get. But yeah, money is. I didn't way say. Different. I didn't confirm or deny. I'm just saying money is way different. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't say nothing either. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard nothing from me either. It's so cool. Yeah, it is. You know, I tried. I even <laughs> I even cut that into a heart. The eagle. Oh, that's new. I didn't even peep that. Right. Yeah, they're not bad. I think I still, I still like the first ones better though. I said the same thing. I like the first ones better. Yeah, those are those are iconic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got something for your troubles here. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. I can't. It's teaching money. <laughs> Teaching children money. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm this is gonna get me thrown in jail. You show them. Yeah. <laughs> Teaching children. So if you want to see me redo some more old nail designs, check out these videos right here, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.